Hello everyone, my name is Zhan Jing from Washington State University, and today I would like to introduce our recent work about adaptive configuration of in-situ lossy compression for cosmology simulations via fine-grained rate quality modeling. So let's start with the introduction first. Uh, to start with, we first need to discuss why we uh, compress or use source compression to what we just mentioned, the cosmology simulations data sets. So the reason for that, the cosmology simulation, or in general for scientific simulations, they pro produce a huge amount of data from the simulation. Just one snapshot can be big, and also we would like to um, keep all the snapshots from different timestamp, and that can create uh, a bottleneck for the IOs, for example, like write speed, and also for the data storage part. And uh, also, the reason for we use lossy compression instead of lossless is because it provides a much higher compression ratio compared to lossless compression. For example, here is a demonstration of uh, we use uh, lossy compression to the cosmology simulations, and you can see even though the lossy compression can create some of the loss, but it in general will still be very similar to the original dataset with a very minimum loss to the quality data quality. So for cosmology simulations, as we mentioned, and also for most of the scientific simulations out there, there's structured data, which are generated by mesh-based simulations in ranks. Uh, for example, on the right upper side, this figure shows uh, different ranks or different partitions blocks will have a very different density of information. For example, this one is uh, visualized on the density of the data. And if we use post hoc analysis, for example, like uh, Halo Finder, and which we're trying to find the high density areas as a halo, we can see some of the partitions will have more halos and others not. And that reflects the density of information are very different from different ranks. And our previous solution actually used trial and error to find this optimized uh, rate quality and also all partitions or ranks are used the same compression configurations when we compress. Uh, based on our previous solution we also find that the visual metrics such as PSNR are not sufficient to represent the real post hoc analysis quality. For example in some cases uh, uh, PSNR can be low but the post analysis qu quality for uh, Halo Finder can be pretty good and our goal in this work so that would be uh, guarantee domain specific analysis quality first, and then we want to do in-situ compression um, so that we can use different, uh, different configurations for different partitions and to towards uh, optimize optimal compression ratio for given data sets, as shown in the figure here in the bottom. And so to doing so, uh, our approach actually uh, wants to uh, fine-grained compression for different configurations for different partitions and also different configurations for different timestamps uh, as we mentioned and to do that we want to build this relationship between user-defined error bound combination user-defined error bound to uh, both analyze quality and to the compression ratio and as long as we build up this uh, relationship between those two we can actually optimize between the compression ratio and analyze quality thus the rate quality modeling for those two and optimize for them. And in our research, our analysis would be concentrated on the uh, NICS simulations. That, the, uh, that would be the po power spectrum, which is FFT-based post hoc analysis, and also Halo Finder. And for the compression ratio, we in this work, we use SC lossy compression to analyze uh, the compression ratios. So our contribution for uh, this approach would be first we propose an adaptive approach to select feasible error bound combinations for different partitions and second we build theoretical models to efficiently estimate the post hoc analysis quality and the compression ratio and then we also develop an efficient optimized strategy to determine the best fit configurations for this given data set and by our evaluation, we improve the compression ratio by up to 73% compared to the previous approach and with only 1% of performance overhead. And so next up, let's uh, talk about some background of this work. So first of all, we need to get to know what is a NIC simulation that we use in this work, which is a AMR-based hydrodynamic code designed to model astrophysical reaction flows on HPC systems. Uh, but the current post analysis used by Nick's team is only based on the regular grid, 
So our solution currently consider, uh, co considers uh, compressing the uh, structured Nix data, which is in regular mesh. And our future work is to adapt our approach to MR uh, Nix data. So the data we use has uh, mainly six 3D data fields, and all of which can perform power spectrum post analysis. And the density data can perform halo finder. And the power spectrum analysis is basically an FFT-based analysis for universe matters distribution. And our target, uh, shown on the right upper side of this figure, is to keep the ratio of power spectrum uh, of uh, reconstruct data and original data to be within 1% co uh, compared with 1. And you can see here the blue line is clearly out of the boundary and not acceptable. Uh, on the other hand, the halo finder on the density data is to find over densities in the uh, mass distribution. And our target in this paper would be minimize the halo mass change of the finded halo. And the right bottom, uh, this figure demonstrate a his, uh, histogram of the halo mass distribution uh, that we found for a given data. So next, the uh, lossy compression. For those who are not familiar with lossy compression, is basically to compress the data and reconstruct data and so that the reconstruct data will be slightly different from the original data. But here in this paper, we use error bounded lossy compression, which means we have uh, some error control mode, for example, at, like absolute error bound, the user can define an error bound and the reconstruct data will guarantee the distance between the uh, reconstruct data compared with the original one will not exceed this error bound. And the, all the other uh, mode, like power relative error bound mode. And in general, lossy compression will provide a high compression ratio, especially compared to losses and a high throughput nowadays with the GPU-based version. So in this paper, we use SC lossy compression, which is a prediction-based lossy compression. And each data point's value is predicted based on its neighboring data. And uh, the, uh, and the uh, distance between the predicted value and the real value will be quantized into quantization code. And the quantization code will be Huffman encoded. And then a lossless compression will be applied to further reduce the data size. So in the design section, we will include what we mentioned before, the modeling uh, from error bound to a post hoc analysis and also the modeling to the compression ratio. And also we combine those together to provide an optimized strategy uh, based on them. Start with, uh, let's see the modeling uh, of error imp impact for the post hoc analysis. So first of all, we need to uh, mentioned is that the error distribution based on SC lossy compression. So on the right upper side, this figure shows a um, error distribution from SC lossy compression. We can clearly see it's a unified distribution under absolute error bound mode. But uh, we need to note here that our modeling uh, 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 later can also be adapted to other compressors with uh, error distribution of deterministic uh, average and deviations. For example, even if the shape is not uniform, we can still do this uh, error impact uh, modeling. And after that, uh, we just uh, we we also you can see we we include the, our theoretical analysis in the paper. If you're interested, you can check that out. So basically, we uh, put this error distribution in the data sets and try to estimate the impact on this. Uh, first of all, would be FFT based analysis, uh, which is power spectrum for next state simulation, and we uh, mainly use uh, central limit theorem to provide a normal distribution. And uh, you can see on this figure here. The red line is our estimated value, and the solid uh, gray uh, blocks are the real values, and it works very well on FFT-based analysis. Uh, next up would be the Halo Finder uh, for density data, and it basically has three key metrics, the number of halos and the, the each halo's location and each halo's mass to evaluate the data quality. In this paper, we mainly use halo mass to evaluate the quality because uh, based on our experiment, the number of halos and each halo's location will not change dramatically compared with the halo mass change. And on the left side hand, you, you can see in this figure, we demonstrate that we use different compression ratio, uh, error bound to compress the data. And this is a histogram of uh, halo mass. And you can see the, the number of halo will not, not change dramatically, even if we use a very large error bound. And on the right hand side is uh, the process of uh, finding a halo. Uh, and the black grid is the candidate cells for halo finder. And you can see compared with the original data, the assay compressed data will add or drop some of the cells. 
And so our theorem is start with this uh, saying that the halo's mass depends on error bound and cell count of mass values within a certain range. And the each halo's mass change is basically the candidate cell change for halo finder. So you can see in this uh, chart here, uh, this is one of the larger halos we find. And we, when we use different error bound to compress the data and the, the cell numbers will change and the, the mass difference will increase with the error bound increment because more loss are added in the data. However, the diff per cell, which is the mass difference divided by the cell differences are very similar to each other and all around 81.66. And this is because uh, the difference, uh, the mass difference, is actually the uh, the number of cell difference times 81.66 as the cell's boundary for Halo Finder. And we have a uh, uh, throughout analysis in our paper. If you are interested, you can check it out. And also, we established this analysis to connect the error bound to cell different count. And as shown in the left hand side, this figure shows uh, the accuracy of our modeling. So the red line is the estimated cell different count based on the given error bound, and the dots are the actual evaluation point and to, to, to demonstrate the accuracy of our models for Halo Finder. Next up uh, would be the modeling for compression ratio, in this case, the assay lossy compression, and we use empirical model in this case. So on the right hand side, this figure shows uh, we did experiment on the temperature data, uh, data fields. And this is we use different uh, error bound to compress the data. And the y axis is the bit rate. Uh, the bit rate means the average bit to encode per value. And in this case, the value originally would be floating point 32. And the lower would be have a higher compression ratio. So we can observe that it mainly has two sections. And the critical point is at bit rate of 2. And also, we would like to mention that all partitions form in a similar shape. So you can see in this figure, different uh, lines are actually uh, the result from different partitions. And they all result in very, very sim similar shapes. And that's why what we used, what we wanted to do is try to figure out uh, the given partition, the location of the given partition. So in this paper, after we try a lot of metrics, we determined to use mean value as the parameter to determine the location of the given par uh, partitions. Also, we see on the bottom, the left side of this figure uh, is a predicted C. C is the equation that we use to uh, describe this uh, function, this compression ratio function of the given partition. So we can see our predicted C is very close to the real C. So that means our prediction on the uh, modeling is very precise. And also the SC has this characteristic of continuity. That is to see the error bound change slightly will cause the compression ratio to also change. Uh, and also it's very continuous change. So on the right bottom side, this figure shows our predicted bit rate compared to the real bit rate. So you can see because of this continuity, our prediction on the bit rate is, is actually very close to the real bit rate. And after we have the modeling for post hoc analysis and the uh, uh, modeling for the comparison ratio, we can build up our optimization strategy. So start with uh, uh, parameter extraction. This is basically for the comparison ratio estimation. So we'll uh, extract the mean value of uh, each, a given partition and the mean value of overall data sets. And then by our analysis, we can build the rate quality model with the error bound to quality modeling and the error bound to rate modeling. And then our goal is to provide a per partition error bound optimization so that the derivatives of uh, rate quality curves are balanced for all partitions. As shown in the right hand side, this figure, uh, we will apply different compression configurations for different partitions so that we balance out and trade off between the quality rate to uh, maximize the lossy compression performance. And for the density data, because we can also apply the halo finder, so uh, our strategy is to perform power spectrum optimization first and to check if halo finder is satisfied or not. And if not, we'll perform the halo finder optimization. So basically, a choice between two post hoc analysis optimization for the density data. So last but not the least is the evaluation. Uh, so here is some of the setup and the data set we use. We evaluate our uh, modified foresight, which is a great open source toolkit used for evaluation analysis and visualize uh, for uh, scientific data datas. And the next data sets provided by the next develop team at LBNL. 
and we experiment uh, on Cori and Frontera, and here are some of the data sets we use uh, with different dimensions, as we mentioned before, uh, uh, containing six uh, different data fields uh, of each uh, data sets. So first of all, let's look at the uh, rate quality. As we mentioned before, we would like to balance out the partition's rate quality ratio as shown in the right-hand side. If we compare it with the traditional approach, which compress different partitions with the same configuration, you can see it's result in a very different rate quality ratio upon different uh, partitions. And after uh, applying our approach, we can balance out the uh, rate distortion ratio of different partitions and then provide a very close to target optimized uh, solution. Next, let's look at the uh, result for the two uh, post hoc analysis. First of all, the power spectrum. So this figure demonstrates our results compared with the traditional one, uh, while in the similar uh, compression ratios. So you can see at the similar compression ratio, we can provide a much better uh, decompressed data quality compared to the traditional one, which also means if we compress, if we provide Similar, uh, compression, uh, similar reconstructed data quality, we can also provide a higher compression ratio. And in terms of the halo finder, uh, first we did the experiment to demonstrate that uh, the number of effective cells in different partitions varies uh, across different partitions as shown in this figure. So you can see uh, the histogram of the number of effective cells uh, for given partitions. And uh, we also find that the result, the halo find optimization result, also uh, usually result in a higher error bound compared to the power spectrum based optimization. So that's why we, in the optimization part, we use a power spectrum based optimization first, and then check if halo finder satisfy the uh, requirements. And if not, we can use uh, halo finder as the optimization base for post hoc analysis. And in terms of the compression ratio improvement, we can see on the right upper side, this figure shows our approach uh, compared with the traditional one. And you we can see on all the data fields, all six data fields, we can provide a great uh, compression ratio improvement with similar compression, uh, compression quality. And it's by up to 1.73 times compression ratio and uh, 1.56 uh, compression ratio improvement overall. And our approach is also capable across different time steps as shown in the left bottom side of this figure. Uh, we normalize the compression ratio from ours to the traditional one uh, on different time steps. So you can see we have an advantage over the traditional one. Uh, but the traditional one note, it's also digraded a slight bit uh, throughout different time steps. This is because it's a not adaptive solution. So it's applied the same configuration for all time step. And we also try to apply our strategy statistically, uh, but it will not match the adaptive solution. And on the right upper side, you can see this is a demonstration of the difference of how we, uh, uh, how we perform our strategy and uh, put the error bound for different partitions compared with a early state simulation and the data from a late simulations. And our approach also uh, works best with smaller partitions. On the right hand side, this uh, bottom this figure shows uh, is that we try different uh, uh, part uh, partition dimensions and it works best the smaller it gets, it uh, takes more advantage of the difference between partitions and thus uh, the smaller it is, uh, the higher performance uh, our approach can get. And uh, it's also capable across simulations with different resolutions. As shown in the right hand side, this figure uh, is demonstration. Uh, we applied our approach to simulation scale on 512 and 1024. And you can see on both of which all six data fields, our approach can provide a comparison ratio gain compared with the traditional approach. And the performance wise, because we only extract features like mean values and for the density data, we extract the uh, effective cell counts. So we introduce as little as 1% of overhead compared with the compression and decompression uh, of the data sets. So in conclusion, our approach is adaptive to select the feasible error bound combination for different partitions. And we provide theoretical based models for uh, post hoc analysis quality and comparison ratio. And with those two, we build up an efficient optimization strategy to de determine the best fit configurations. And then our approach can improve the comparison ratio by up to 73% with only 1% of performance overhead. And some of the future works include that we want to find more applications and metrics to 
uh, build up theoretical analysis for its post hoc analysis. So that's all for this presentation. Uh, thank you so much.